guys, my name is Alicia and I like making thrifting videos and today we are actually at my favorite value village ever. It's been a long time since I did just a classic value village kind of thrift with me, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So if you guys are new and you like watching thrifting videos, you should definitely stick around and subscribe because in 2022 I'm going to be making a thrift with me video pretty much every single week. So if you need more thrifting content in your life, definitely stick around. So basically my plan today is going to be looking for inventory for my Depop and Poshmark shop. And what I'm going to be doing every week is setting a budget for myself just to make sure I'm not spending too much money on my inventory because that's very easy to do, especially at Value Village. So I need to hold myself accountable for the prices. For this week, I think my goal, at least for today, is to spend around 20 to 25 dollars so it's just me and barba today but we are going to head into the thrift store so let's go thrifting guys it's a new year it's 2022 we're not forgetting our donations because we need that 20 percent off coupon okay starting off in the shoes these are kind of really cool actually And they're only $9.99. I think they're gonna be too small, but I think I'm gonna try them on. Okay, these are actually so cool. I love the square toe. Kind of looks like a little patchworky. I really hope these fit. I'm gonna try them on. These chunky Nevada shoes. <gasps> they're so cute. But that price, no, 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 no. Okay, so next up we're in the men's jeans. I feel like I always find really good jeans here just because there's like such a big selection. So let's take a look. You're joking. You are joking. Oh my God. These are so nice. And they're only $9.99. I've been trying to find these. You guys have no idea for how long. This and the Tommy Hilfiger ones. Look how good these Roots vintage jeans are. Made in Canada. Oh, they're just a little bit too expensive. Like I'm not confident in that pricing, but they're really good. Okay, so now I'm just checking out the men's light jackets because you guys know I'm always on the hunt for denim jackets. But there's no denim in sight, unfortunately. Okay, I'm not really into sweater vests, but like how adorable is this one? It's only $6.99. And it's actually like really big, so I'm just gonna put it in the cart for now. Um, look how cute this is. I just like saw this at the end of the rack. I'm obsessed with this. Like, I, I think I'm gonna keep this one. And it's only $4.49, which is so, so good. Quick peek at the pillows and stuff too, because I'm always looking for kind of embroidered needlepoint kind of stuff, but I find it so difficult to find these days. Like, oh, like this is cute if it was like not Christmas. Um, yeah, I just haven't, I've been struggling to find them lately. Okay, so I just had to look through all the women's jeans. I found these really nice vintage denim. They're $6.99, but I'm just thinking because there's no brand, it's gonna be really hard to sell them. So I think I'm gonna put these ones back. And then I also found these Citizens of Humanity jeans. $6.99, great price. They're size 28, which is a great size too. In really good condition. And honestly, skinny jeans are still really popular on Poshmark, so I think I am going to pick these ones up. Oh my god, look what I just found. These really cool Calvin Klein Carpenter wide leg pants. But that price is just, no, I can't do it. They're so, so nice though. Okay, these vintage pants are beautiful. I feel like this is totally something you would see at Aritzia, especially this color, like this neutral beige. I just think it might be a little bit too dressy for my shop, but I thought I'd share. So I just looked through all the skirts. I didn't find anything. I was looking more for like floral, like maxi skirts, because those do really well for me. But now we're just in the dresses. Um, that one's really cute, but it's not vintage, so I'm not gonna pick it up. 
but yeah, that's what I'm gonna look through now. Look at this vintage fish dress, so cute. Oh, I love the pocket. I'm just not a fan of the print or the color. Look how nice these vintage jeans are. The only problem is they're maternity wear. Such a good price. Look at the vintage tag. This vintage dress is more along the lines of what I kind of look for. That tag, pretty good price, but I don't know. Just, this one's not fully calling to me. This is really cute. I love the color and like the knit. Just a tad expensive, but it's like perfectly cropped. There's quite a few denim jackets here in the women's section, but none of them are it, you know? Like, they're all a little too feminine for my style. And I like to choose really nice, like, vintage denim jackets for my rework re jackets. So, unfortunately, no good ones today. I'm in the women's sweaters, which I normally don't look through because there's just so many. I just found this beautiful vintage sweater. It's a little too expensive though, I think. It has some stains. It's really cute. I found this amazing sweater vest. I just don't know about it. That tag is so good though, $7.99. I also found this adorable short sleeve kind of knit. It's only $2.99 and look at that tag. I really like these colors. Okay, so that was totally worth it because I found some really cute cardigans. There's this vintage one, only $4.99, and it's got this really nice like argyle print. I found this other really cute vintage one too. It's like this baby blue, honestly similar to what I'm wearing right now. It's just a little bit expensive though, so I don't think I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> I really don't know about these shoes. Like, I feel like it's really hard to tell with these jeans. Hmm. Okay, these ones are way too small, but I feel like they're pretty safe. Alrighty, I think I'm all ready to check out. All right guys, so I'm back from the thrift store and I'm gonna do a little haul and try on to show you guys everything that I ended up getting. In total, I ended up getting five things, which came out to about $26. So pretty much stayed right on my goal. One of these items I do plan on keeping for myself as well. So I'm not really even gonna count that as part of my budget. So that's about $5.30 per item, which is honestly, pretty good for Valley Village. So I think I did a good job sticking to my goal and trying not to pick items that were like too expensive. So the first thing and probably the coolest thing that I ended up getting are these Polo Ralph Lauren jeans. And the reason why they're so cool is obviously because of this really cool patch on the back. Honestly, I've been on a hunt for these for years. Like every time I thrift, I always keep my eyes peeled for them and I've never found a pair. So this is my first time finding these. They're just this beautiful dark blue wash with more of a straight slash kind of like wider leg. And they're in amazing condition. There's no stains, rips or anything throughout. Unfortunately, they don't fit me. They're size 32. So I will be selling these on Depop. And after the discount, the 20% off discount and before taxes, these came out to about $7.99, which honestly is an amazing price for jeans. So these were definitely my find of the day and I'm really happy that I found them. So then the next thing that I ended up picking up were the Citizens of Humanity black skinny jeans. These are in really, really good condition and they're a size 28, which is pretty average, which will definitely make them a little bit easier to sell. And if you guys didn't know, Citizens of Humanity are very expensive jeans. I believe they sell for like $300. So the fact that I was able to pick them up for $5.60 is really good. It was kind of a no brainer to be honest, but these are the Av black skinny jeans. They have the kind of uh, Citizens of Humanity stitching on the back and of course the little tab back there as well. So I think these will do really well in Poshmark. I was looking at comparisons and I'm thinking I could probably sell them for at least $50. So we'll see how these go. So moving on to tops, the next item that I ended up getting was this adorable little blue and gray knit t-shirt. I just thought this color scheme was really cute in this little pattern here on the front. It is vintage made in Canada and just has this really cute vintage tag here that says next issue. I don't know, I just thought it was really special. I actually found this one in the kids section and I'm pretty sure it's not a children's item, 
but because I did, it ended up being super cheap. I ended up getting it for $2.40. So at that price, I was just like, why not? <laughs> so this next item I did actually just pick up for myself and it's this cute little striped button up kind of knit short sleeve. I was just kind of like passing by the woman's section, not ready to browse it yet and i kind of saw this sticking out and i immediately ran over to it and grabbed it and i'm so glad i did because i feel like this is just like so me if you know me you know i love stripes and i just love the kind of like muted kind of more neutral colors of it it's got a little bit of like rib texture to it and i don't know i think this is just gonna be such a good piece that I could probably honestly wear both in the winter and the summer. And this was actually only $3.60. So once again, I was really checking the prices and I think I got lucky with this one because I probably would have ended up buying it anyway, even if it was a little bit more expensive just cause you know, I was getting it for myself, but I'm in love with this one. And then guys, the last thing that I ended up picking up is this adorable little wool sweater with the Argyle print. I was really stuck between this one or the blue one. The blue one was also really cute, but for one, it was a little bit too plain. I was kind of worried that would be difficult to sell and it was double the price. So to keep the budget down, I went with this one and I think this one is really cute as well. It's got this like super cool vintage tag and yeah, it's made from 100% lamb's wool. So definitely a good quality vintage piece. Plus it was only $3.99, which is obviously an amazing price for anything at Valley Village, to be honest. So that's why I ended up going with this one. So that's everything I ended up picking up. I didn't end up getting the boots just because they were, I think like a half size too small for me, first of all. And I don't know, maybe I wasn't wearing the right pants to like style it properly, but I just wasn't in love with them. They were also like $15, so it just didn't really make sense for me to pick them up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift haul. Like I said, I'm gonna be thrifting again next week. I'll most likely be going to a pay by the pound kind of store. So I'll definitely be able to get a lot more things on a smaller budget. So if that's something you guys are interested in, definitely stick around. And if you saw anything you liked in this haul, they will be available on my Depop and my Poshmark. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.